you feeling? Well, I'm ready to go. I mean, you see what we're doing, putting the work in. I don't think nothing else needs to be said. Saints. Dr. Seuss, <laughs> well, New England Patriots, tight end. All right, Marty, so when did you start training and why? Well, I started training since I, was a, since I was a kid. I saw everybody, I saw greatness. I saw everybody on TV and I was like, man, how did it get there? So I just started researching. I heard about Jerry Rice never having an off season or never, you know, always working out. Or, you know, you hear all these stories about these legendary stories. Or you hear even like Hercules, like Hercules was a beast, you know, it's like, man, he's half man, half, half Demi guy, you know, so um, just as a kid, I was like, man, I want to be like those guys, and I just started working out, then we started playing sports, and I realized that we get competitive edge on everyone else my age, if I was stronger, faster, and more in shape than them, I will always be the best player on the field, and I never want to be second, so I started working out to always be first. Absolutely, absolutely, this is where you got to, so you're playing NFL, successful career, still going, now on the Patriots. So why do you continue to train? Well now it's like, it's, it's always still to be first, but not just first on the football field, but first in life. And that's just, you know, being healthy, diabetes are a huge um, thing in the African-American uh, demographic. So just being healthy so that way I can live longer and be a parent longer to my daughter. I want to be on earth as long as I can to be there for her. So being healthy is a big part of that. and. Being able to give her the life that I want to give her, I have to be at the top of my game on the football field as well. So um, it's just a full dynamic of finding complete balance. You know, we try to be an equilateral triangle, not an isosceles. Gotcha. I mean, when I finish a workout, I feel I actually feel more energized. I feel ready to go. I, I encourage everyone to work out first thing in the morning because it just gets your day going. People think it's going to be tired, but once you get over that little hump, first couple of weeks, the first couple of days, it just starts making you feel so like. I don't know, it's invigorating. It just feels good, you know? You just feel like you got an extra boost. Like, go. some people need a Red Bull, I just need a workout. That's what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> anything else you want to tell people? Ah, uh, man, you can be anything that you want to be. All you got to do is just work for it. What's your comic? Your show? Um, oh, yeah, check out www.heyaj.com, children's book, interactive apps, cartoons, whatever you want to do. I make those things, too, because I'm trying to be first and not last like Ricky Bobby.
all was pretty much a montage of the last couple days. We did have a lot of great athletes in house the last couple days. We had uh, Martellus Bennett of the New England Patriots, Alshon Jeffrey of Chicago Bears, Kari Lee, tight end Chicago Bears, uh, Kyle Prater, New Orleans Saints, wide receiver. Uh, they're all getting ready to go to training camp next week. So really just kind of preparing them, making sure they're nice and explosive, going through any uh, stability work that we need to go through. Just really just keeping them tuned up, keeping them mobile, and uh, uh, making sure that we keep them safe and mostly the last couple weeks. We got to see some of the Optic Gaming guys were in-house, Pomage, Hector, and uh, Mike. And they're kind of going on now a hypertrophy training cycle for the next four to eight weeks to really try and either lean out or bulk up. Now we're trying to get rid of uh, the body fat on a couple of the guys we're trying to increase the lean muscle mass on all three of them so mike's trying to put on a little bit of weight so his calories will be obviously increased whereas the other two will kind of be on a diet restriction the athletes in house are all our normal members uh, i just want to kind of highlight them as they really have been committed they've been putting in great work and uh, we've seen a lot of kids get some great success some division one offers uh, we have a kid who is going to be on the usa uh, national team for baseball uh, so it's just really cool to have those uh, successes after such a long winter, spring, and now uh, seeing it all come to fruition for a lot of them. We're getting ready to go into the fall and winter programs uh, very soon once kids are back in the school. So excited about that. We usually get a great turnout, and that's when most of the kids in the Chicago area train, uh, just because it is winter time and there's nowhere else to go but indoors and get yourself better. All right, one last thing I want to talk about is uh, the fact that you gotta understand that when they train with me and they train this facility, they're training at an athletic performance facility. Okay, they're not training to be powerlifters, not training to be bodybuilders. Um, so when you see form and you see technique and you think you know what's going on, you might not know what they're training for. You might not know their limitations, their range of motion, any restrictions or prior injuries they may have. So when you watch a video, you see a picture, don't judge it just based off that one picture. Okay, you, there's so much more that goes into it. And uh, you know, don't be an online warrior, an online coach when you're in the comment section. I want to thank everybody for the support of the last few videos. It's been tremendous. I greatly appreciate it. We'll see you guys next time.